y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Katie and I make stuff vegan. Okay, so boom. So somebody had mentioned Panda Express and I was like, ooh, dang, I haven't had Beijing vegan in a minute. And I'm like, well, yeah, duh, Katie, because you vegan. But I was like, I can make that vegan because it's Katie makes it vegan. So if you want to see how I made vegan Beijing beef, keep on watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, so you never miss any of my videos. And as always, the link to the detail recipe will be in the description box below. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so I feel like this recipe is mad easy. Like, I feel like on a scale of one to 10, it's like a five. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of that saying, like, life comes at you fast. Cause you do a whole bunch of prep and then you gotta mix it all together. So yeah, I feel like this is like weeknight friendly. Mm. It's weeknight friendly if you got off at like four o'clock and you gotta be at work until 10. Okay, no, no, no. It's weeknight friendly if you got off at five yeah okay so i'm gonna mince some garlic and i'm gonna cut bell peppers into these big chunks like you see here okay so traditionally the bell peppers are supposed to be red but i was like i know my friends down to the youtuber and i don't care about that also in this economy i was not gonna go buy another bread pep uh, another bell pepper like i literally had one in the fridge that i wasn't using because i couldn't remember what i bought it for because i'll be chopping and dicing like that on the low like I feel like when I'm not filming, my go-to meals be like a salad, a sandwich, a smoothie. So I was like, I'm finna use what I got, okay? Oh, and I'm gonna do the same thing with the onions. I use half an onion. I know it look weird, but I use half an onion. So I'm gonna take these very soy, like, vegan slices. You, If you've been rocking with me for a while, you see me use it. I use these all the time. But I feel like mushrooms will work really well with this recipe. I feel like tofu would work well, tom bien. Ooh, soy curls will work really good. Like, really, 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 really good. Because they're basically the same thing. Like, same thing, different font. And what else? That's it. You know what idea I got? Oh, cauliflower. Ooh. Ooh. High key. You know what idea I got today? I was like, I should do these recipes over that I be saying, like, oh, you can use this. Oh, you can do that. I should do that, do these recipes over with the things that I said. Let me know if you want to see that. That would be cute, right? Okay. Into the Ziploc bag, I did um, cornstarch, like buku cornstarch, um, the better than bouillon, you don't need no salt. I promise you, sweet pea, you don't need no salt. And um, black pepper and garlic powder. Okay, I'm gonna make my Beijing beef sauce. So I took hoisin sauce, buku ketchup, like this, I think it's a quarter cup of ketchup, sweet and sour sauce. Now listen, I know it's Polynesian sauce from Chick-fil-A, but you, that's the same thing as sweet and sour sauce. Like I swear, like you could not tell me any differently differently am i good you could not tell me any different okay um i just soy sauce sesame oil a little bit of sugar i don't use a teaspoon of sugar because a lot of these sauces already have like mad sugar in them so like why are we gonna press the issue you know what i'm saying and i'm gonna cut the sweetness with a little bit of um rice my finger like a tops like a tops you saw that a tops and i'm whisking it together this sauce is mad easy and i tasted it. i was like yeah very good very very good um yeah Hoisin sauce is not traditional, it's supposed to be oyster sauce, but like, every time I go to buy vegan oyster sauce, I'll be like, yeah, I don't feel like it. Like, this hoisin sauce, like, I've had it for a little minute, so like, maybe I'll venture out and try some vegan oyster sauce, but like, I'm not trying to drive into every street in Memphis looking for no vegan oyster sauce. Like, where am I finna find that at? You know what I'm saying? Like, that sounds like a lot of work. Okay, I'm deep frying. You can pan fry if you'd like, but like, girl, you already making Beijing beef. You might as well like, you know see it through you know what i'm saying like fry that giant okay so or if you're scared of frying you could probably air for oh i don't know about air frying cornstarch you might get like cotton balls i don't know let me know how that goes for you okay <laughs> keep me updated okay so i'm gonna take some of the oil that i fry with because you know reduce reuse recycle and i'm gonna put it in this big pot what's this called a pan am i good that i have and i'm gonna saute that up you know what i'm saying garlic is not traditional but you know what we eat in this ginger and you know why you don't see ginger like full transparency i ain't feel like it like i didn't you gotta peel it and chop i know this is a cooking channel but like sometimes i'll be like you know what it's cool y'all try the ginger let me know okay because I, I was already ready to go i got the idea when i was right here and i was like yeah i don't know baby boy all right so i added my sauce i only heated it through for like two to three minutes and i'm gonna add my beef i can cut the heat off because i don't want it to be soggy you don't want it to be soggy and um luckily you know it's fry hard so you don't have to worry about well i fry mine hard if you don't fry yours hard it's gonna be on you but 
I fried it hard so it didn't get soggy, but look at that. Look at the coat and how glossy it is. I was like, yeah, very good. Okay, here it is, Miss Plate Enough for you. Like, it came out so well. Like, I love this. And you could serve, you know what would be so good with this? Remember when I made that lo mein? I'll link it. You should make the lo mein with it. So you get the full, like, Panda Express at home experience, but vegan. Um, and yeah, I had mine with rice because, you know, keep it simple. But let me know what you think. Let me know if you used to get Beijing beef from Panda Express. Apparently, it's like a thing everywhere. Like, I thought it was like a Panda Express exclusive thing, but like, whatever. Let me know what you think. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe so you never miss any of my videos while you're here. Check out my other videos because you have no survival no videos. Thank you again. Oh, the link to the recipes in the description box below. Okay, thank you again, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye, y'all.